lot of times in painting I have a specific emotion or a specific feeling that I'm trying to express, and unfortunately this one is not one that's particularly positive. And I tried making this video a couple times in the past, but no matter what I seem to do, I can't seem to make it kind of have the bright, kind of happier outlook which I like to try to give the world. And Instead of trying to do that, I think I'm just going to tell the story the way it is to me. The summer prior to when I began this painting, I was back home on Long Island and I had been living with my girlfriend. She was waiting for her semester of grad student to start and I was painting and trying to find a job. Things had stabilized and for the first time in a long time, things were starting to feel normal. Unfortunately, in early July, there was some dramatic, racially motivated political moves in America, and my girlfriend was forced to leave this country. Every day for the next week and half before she was violating her visa, she spent it searching the internet and desperately fighting with other international students to obtain an impossible ticket to leave this country. I did my best to be there for her, but all I could do was be there for her when she cried. In July, I drove her to the airport and we made our tearful goodbye. In my mind, I thought by the end of the summer, when things calmed down, I would see her again. Months passed, things were starting to become normal again. Still, she was unable to enter back into America. Over the next month, I was fortunate to find work in a print shop in the eastern part of Long Island. Every day, I sit at this red light, looking at my childhood and looking at my future as I go to work. On the left is the building where I went to elementary school. On the right side of the street, the building with the green roof is a bank. As I drive to work, I'm currently on the right side of the road, further from my childhood and closer to the bank. The car on the left side of the road is a 2006 Honda Odyssey, which was the car from my childhood. This car faces the opposite direction I'm currently driving. On one side of the road, my imagination and my intellect first developed and grew. On the other side of the road lies the institution, or at least an allegory for the institution, which prevents me from fully devoting myself to my imagination and intellect. As I drive to work, my thoughts wander. A lot of the times I think about the relationship between roads and water. When I was a kid, my mother used to tell me stories about how she would sail her sunfish around Little Peconic Pond. She said she'd sail her sunfish around to go see her friends instead of driving a car and she was growing up. Because of these stories, there's always been a place in my imagination that I've imagined boats taking the place of cars and rivers the place of roads. This morning, as my imagination transported me from my car to a riverboat, in the distance from my little boat I saw a beautiful sunrise. Seeing this beautiful thing in the distance and always missing my girlfriend, my mind drifted back to a poem I half remembered. In this poem, the poet described his vision of a sea nymph on the opposing riverbank. The poet's name was Sauger, renowned as a romantic and a poet in the romance of the Three Kingdoms. And in this poem, he yearned across the river to be with the sea nymph, but the river prevented him from, from doing this. Despite his desire to be an artist and to be inspired by the beauty of this scene of, he was born into one of the most powerful families of this time period, and he was stuck in a world of politics and death. Escape was impossible for him, and all he could do was dream about the life he would lead if he was born into a different family or in a different time. Previously, I had understood it intellectually and appreciated its beauty from that sense, but this morning, I felt it. After months of separation, my final memories of the time I spent with my girlfriend was her in a state of desperation and her tears. I want the future to seem bright for anyone who sees this painting, but I also want them to feel what I felt and what Sartre felt. Where I hope for other people to see the bright horizon and have it inspire them, I always see it as something that taunts me. Unlike red lights in the real world, the color of the light in a painting will never change. As I exist in this painting, I am trapped forever, and that's what this painting truly symbolizes to me. I just wanted to use the last moments of this video to say thank you to anybody who's still sticking around. 
I've worked on this project for a very long time now, and it's a story I really wanted to tell, so if you're still here, thank you a lot. It really means a lot to me. And if you like this video, please be sure to like it, comment it, and subscribe, and have a nice day.